Hello there and welcome to this video on home circles. What are home circles? Now home circles have been around for, for many many years. It is basically a, a consistent place that you meet up with um, your home circle. Now home, home circle is, is a mixture, it could be friends, it could be family, it could be circle members, whoever it is. These people in the circle have to be um, very dedicated for spirit, very respectful, always on time, like never late, um, always a clear mind, they are very committed. Um, so having good sitters for a circle is, is, is hugely important. They have to uh, have some form of connection or understanding. Now these uh, sitters for a home circle, they don't have to be mediums, they don't have to be healers, they don't have to be trans mediums or anything like you, you term special, but they are special because they are people who hold the space. Now good sitters in a circle are often good batteries, which means the, sometimes they can be very strong people um, or very sensitive or, you know, they could be a practitioner in, in wellness or therapies and, you know, they just love sitting and experiencing. Um, but regardless, these people have to be very committed on a weekly basis to have uh, some great, you know, results within the, the circle. So typically a good number for a home circle can be five or six members or seven. You don't want to go too beyond that. And you don't want to go too, too under that. Even a, a group of four is still good, three or four. So whatever it is, even dedication. Even if you and your partner, for example, are really dedicated, then just you and your partner sitting or your friend, um, just two people can still produce results. Again, it's it's the quality, not quantity. But a good sized number for a home circle is usually about five or six people who sit regularly. And there is no number exact. It depends on how the dynamic works and how people are very dedicated. They meet, meet up weekly at the same time, the same place. And if you end up wanting a holiday, then go together, go somewhere else and still operate together at the same time. Um, and spirit will show up. Now, although they say there is no time in the afterlife, there is no time in spirit, they do understand about our time, and so they will show up and be present. A home circle can, for whatever intention, the best thing to do is have no expectations, because whatever reason that you are led to become together, then it'll be, it'll be known at some point. So the reason why you come together, it could be a a, a healing circle, a home circle, it could be a circle for physical phenomena, it could be a port, it could be um, evidence for spirit, uh, again healing, it could be trance, it could be working with ectoplasm, it could be working with the new, new way without ectoplasm and uh, without a physical medium. Um, the list goes on, there is no limit to what spirit can produce and allow you to be guided into um, whatever happens. The important thing to do in the home circle is not to bring your phone with you, is not to bring your, you know, your animals or your, your baby, for example, and that probably sounds horrible, but you want no distractions at all. And if you are very stressed, then, you know, say to your circle members, sorry guys, I really need some healing and focus on that. You know, your mind is really distracted. So, because if one person can completely just destroy the energy, um, and we've seen that before many times, and it doesn't mean that that person is bad. It's just, everyone has a bit of a bad day, and that's okay. But your, your home circle team should be very supportive in looking after you, you know. So if you are sick, don't turn up to circle, because you won't have the right energy if you've been very, very tired or overrun. Um, but if that is consistent, then perhaps the home circle isn't for you. It's important that sometimes, you know, sickness does happen. So, you know, don't think, oh, I've missed circle, I, I have to go. You know, people understand, you know, if you, if you need to break away a holiday and something's planned, these things are okay. But, you know, most of the year you'll be showing up at circle. And if you can't make it, then you know, if you do record the, the circle, then give that recording to the person that has, has missed it, for example. So also, if you are in a small circle, about three or four people, and then there's another three or four people in another circle, 
um, keep practicing and share with each other every every week so you are listening to the same you know each other's recordings if you record stuff what's going on some updates and then when you can come together so you create a much bigger circle things like that are okay or even two or three circles or even members you you can do it as a live recording and i've seen this before but i don't favor it because the energy isn't always exact there are online uh, home circles that you can attend and go to and the energy will be there but I prefer personally in my experience it being physical um, because that is the best way it's being physically present in the home circle um, so home circles are people that don't live too far away they are local they're committed and um, really you don't know what sort of results are going to be produced there is no limitation to what spirit can and can't do and um, you know spirit are learning with working with your energies as well so there is a molding a, a a merging of energies of spirit and the circle members and you will probably find that the people within the circle are going to experience very similar things always remember to open up the circle in prayer to close the circle always have a time limit on how how long it will go for because spirit will keep going if they want to um, so say your time is it's meeting up at seven or half seven every Tuesday or Wednesday, for example, or every Tuesday and a Thursday, that can work, um, but make it the same time uh, each sitting, you know, half seven to half nine, for example. So spirit and everybody else knows. You don't have to put an alarm on there, but if you're sitting in the dark, then perhaps you need to put like a subtle alarm or a little bell to go off, um, which is fine to have a phone on, but make sure you have a a particular sound on there that isn't disturbing so you know that when time is ending um, so yeah you know be be creative with it be creative with the space it's important to know the area as well that you kind of have your home circle now if one of your circle members has a very quiet uh, home um, perhaps they most likely better a room that's not being used if you're working with ectoplasm they need to make sure there's no light that can come in Yes, make sure it's breathable and there's air coming in, but you know, throughout the during of the uh, your home circle sitting, you'll make sure that you know if you are working with ectoplasm, there's no uh, direct light from the outside coming in. There's no distractions. No, nobody's going to be walking through. If you have children, they're not going to come and disturb you, or anyone's going to interrupt the the session. And um, yeah, you know the best. Uh, environment is to be very quiet no distractions and all you're going to hear is people in the circle only so like here at the moment you can't hear anything uh, we're not near our main road um, you can't even get a phone signal in here because we've got a metal roof which is perfect but regardless we don't have our phones in here if we do we don't get a signal and there's no there's no window so it's being purposely built for this um, however we're quite far out of the way um, so sometimes it's difficult for people to come to you, but you can, even in London, for example, I remember attending uh, a meditation circle in London, in Camden, in a basement, and basements work really, really well too. Um, I believe Skull, the Skull Experiment, uh, started in a, in a basement, and they painted the whole walls like dark black, well, black, not <laughs> dark black, uh, or a very dark colour and that had no windows in there, there was ventilation and it was very quiet away even though it was in a village and I've experienced things in cities as well where it's been underground and no distractions so it's really having a dedicated space for spirit contact and you will get it so home circle is something that we are very um, feel very strongly and passionate about that there should be more in the world so if you are you know wanting to connect with like-minded people and have a circle Good sitters are sometimes very hard to find in, in what you're trying to do, but it can be done. So keep up with it and it will come together. So thank you for watching. Uh, there's more information on the other videos and I'll see you there.